Speaking of Real Madrid, Herc, did you hear these comments from former Real Madrid manager Fabio Capello? Had some uh, interesting things to say about American ownership. This in light of Roma's dismissal of Jose Mourinho. Quote, it seems to be that these American owners have a strange way of handling things with no respect for those who work for them. There is no sensitivity around there. There is business. They are the owners and they decide, but I believe in something more, in a certain sense of respect for those working with you, saying goodbye in a different way rather than with a cold statement or a cold call. Herc, should Capello get lost here for his criticisms of American ownership? No, because specifically here, uh, he may have a point. Uh, listen, it, it's, a, it's a great point. It, it really is. Um, Jose Mourinho uh, comes to Roma, and in Roma there was a 14, 15-year you know, drought without a trophy. He delivers a trophy. He delivers finals, European finals, the Mourinho effect. Uh, for the first time in their history, uh, 40 straight sellout games at Estadio Olimpico. There, there, there was a buzz about the team that wasn't there before with Mourinho, and they sack him, and, and he's done. And in the way they did it, it was very cold. I understand that. So I'm not going to tell him to get lost there. But I will remind Fabio Capello of where Italian football has been the last decade and a half, if not more in dire financial stress. Billions of dollars lost, record financial losses for a lot of these clubs. And where they are today because of foreign investment. Uh, Milan, Milan, AC Milan is finally profitable. Profitable American ownership. A lot of these teams are finally not in the red, not bleeding themselves dry. Why? Foreign ownership. And the majority of that foreign ownership is American ownership. Italian football was dead. They are reviving it. So I will remind Fabio Capello of where they were. But he's right. Maybe the tact leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah, I guess the backstory here is the way Mourinho found out, right? Apparently, he turns up to training. They hadn't let him know ahead of time. There was kind of some awkwardness there. Uh, Capello also was referencing something that happened at Milan with Paolo Maldini and the new ownership, maybe um, the treatment there. But you can't just label it as American owners, right? If, if we have a, an example, Herc, of a disrespectful owner in Syria, it's got to be De Laurentiis at Napoli, right? Oh, I mean, he had yes. Rudy Garcia in the job and was saying, you know, I don't know if this guy's fit for the job while the guy was still the coach of his team. So um, it's, listen, can American owners Intimidating Chucky Lozano to leave. I mean, yeah. I mean, so I, I just think there's, there's a lot of examples of ownership kind of getting this stuff wrong, but saying that it's, it's just the American owners that don't have tact, I think is uh, missing the mark quite a bit.